Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. It doesn't feel like a Monday. What does it feel like? It feels like it should still be Sunday. Does it? I think so. In in my brain, it's still the weekend. I went to my parents' house over the weekend, and so I feel like, oh. yeah, today's Monday. I'm yeah. like, I'm like ready to go. Back you know? to work. Yeah, I love that. Here we are, fresh Monday morning, time to get it, get things accomplished. And then it doesn't help. Also, I should probably note that I feel accomplished because so far this morning the cleaners have come the construction guy has come because we got new front doors and back doors Ooh. now the painter is there so it was like a busy day like yeah you're plus we had to get the done. kids out you know yeah. had to take a shower had to do all those things so yeah. it's like when man I think man yeah. Yeah, you know, gotta get things done yeah no me just being awake uh, since 4 30 this morning because the cat <laughs> was not sleeping you got a new kitty it's like having a child yeah I was not prepared for this one. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. We're so glad that you're here. I'm Sarah. I'm Rachel. And we are here today to show you some holiday nail art using all of the beautiful Magpie products. Uh, you can purchase all of these products at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie Beauty USA app. If you do not have the app yet, why not? You really should get it. It makes for easy shopping. Uh, it's very user friendly and we also offer education over there inside of the app. So definitely download the app if you get a chance and you can just get that from the app store. Very easy. Search for Magpie Beauty USA. Mm -hmm. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show some easy nail art and Rachel is going to show some easy to mm, moderately inter intermediate <laughs> nail art. So As she is, you. she's getting hers ready right now. So I'm going to actually get started. Yeah. So what I've done um, to prepare for today is that I did some wrapping paper nail art. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then a very easy, fast design for the salon is just a candy swirl. Um, but I tried to make this one just a little bit more interesting. I used Stevie Flakes there in the center. But today I'm I going to show that. you in a green ensemble rather than a red. So I'm going to show you how to create this, but like I said, using green. So let's just get I started. We're going to... Favorite. the candy yeah. and it's so easy isn't it, it. Ooh, and people really do like it that'd be so cute with like a mint too yeah it would like a ooh, what is it like jemima or oh it would be so pretty with jemima uh-huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know i love jamie yeah, you. you know i have a soft spot in my heart for jamie yep for all of the blue i love greens, all really. the blue greens yep all right, so first thing I'm going to do is start with Green with Envy as my background color. And I'm just going to do one layer of Green with Envy. I'm going to be using a couple different types of shades of green, not types of green, shades of green. So in my background is going to be this deeper green. Then my foil is going to be Mary Jane, which happens to be just a bit bright holographic lots of fun and then i'm gonna go in with the beautiful jelly green i love this color of green so i'm really looking forward to seeing how these greens are going to work together to create just a really fun simple uh, wrapping paper design so i'm going to put this in for a full 60 second cure and i already got some underneath i'm going to wipe that out so we don't see that <clears throat> So in for a 60 second cure, all of the Magpie products are a 60 second cure, and we definitely suggest using the Magpie lamp with the Magpie system. Um, Rachel, did you see that reel that was posted by Melissa? Yes. Our master so educator, Melissa, posted a reel. You can find that under Polished Looks by Melissa, and it was a very was good reel. Very it, showed, it showed why the lamp is important to use with the system. So she cured some Magpie Build Me Up in different lamps and showed the curing strength. And in the Magpie lamp, it was fully cured, and in the other lamps, it wasn't. So mm -hmm. we really do suggest using the lamp that you use with the system that you use in the salon. Um, one of the questions that was asked was, what if we use multiple systems? Yeah. Uh, then I would suggest using... The system that you have the most of so if you use the most of magpie then you need to have the magpie lamp mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna oh sorry rachel i got a little green on your you know on your guy sorry okay. about that sorry about that it's all right. okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with just a very thin layer of full foiled and i don't want to put full foiled over the entire nail because i'm not going to be putting my foil over the entire nail so i'm going to I'm wiping off, let me show you what I'm doing. 
I'm pulling out my brush and then I'm really just wiping off the most of it so that I have just very little on my bristles. And I'm going to almost dry brush just wherever I want a little bit of foil to adhere. Doing this on a on your inhibition layer? Yep, okay. I did keep the inhibition layer in this case. And hopefully you can see like it's all just kind of splotchy on there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I want the foil to land. Now I'm gonna give that a full 60 second cure. Now when we're on a live, we usually kind of flub and do a 30 second cure. With full foiled, we have to give it the full 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, I'll just cut off a piece of Mary Jane, which is just this really bright, fun, holographic foil. You um, could use Grinch here. You could oh, use, yeah. um, what's another green one up there? Um, uh, Luigi. Luigi, yep, that one would mm -hmm. also be fun. Um, but I wanted just a little bit of wrapping paper feel, you know, that holographic. That like sparkle. Mm -hmm. it makes it a little bit more festive. Yeah. And I just definitely wanted that. So I'm going to use Mary Jane. I love Mary Jane too. I like, I love the color of it, how it's a little more of that like minty mojito-y green. Yeah. She's an oldie, but a goodie. She really is. Yep. I love the OG foils. So good. Um, Christine does nail says that reel was great. And Melissa is full of so much amazing information. Boy, isn't it true? She really is. That really was just such a great reel. Such a good visual. And I think that sometimes we forget mm -hmm. how important the lamp is. But it really does, it really does matter. Okay, so now with my full foiled, I'm just going to tap on my Ooh. foil just in random pieces. And you'll see, like, even though it's full foiled, I didn't lay it all down. I don't want it to be all one piece. Right. I want it to really feel like crinkled up wrap wrapping paper. So oh, just okay. like that, super cute. Now I'm going to go in with my green jelly. Ooh. And I just love this shade of green. That is the cutest shade. It really is so pretty. <clears throat> and I just need a thin layer, but I'm going to cover this up. And you can see it just gives it some depth Ooh. and creates just this really cute effect. Just that cool wash of mm -hmm. color. I love that. So cute. And it deepens the green underneath it, so like you don't even need two coats of it. Nope. That's just so one pretty. coat. I'm going to give that a cure and then easy. We're done. I'm just going to put some top coat on it. I love that. Such a simple, fast design for, especially for clients who don't like a lot of anything. Yeah. You know, and they, they don't, don't want glitter. They don't want anything. So on this one, what I did is the background is Dorothy slipper, which is a sparkly red. Um, I'm really excited for candy cane that's coming, but right now we don't have it. It's in route. So I used Dorothy slipper. It's going to be a little bit darker of a red than candy cane is going to be. Ooh. Then I went in with full foiled and then I dabbed on some poppy Joe foil. And then I finished off with a little bit of the, a very thin layer of the red jelly. And that's the effect that we get. So how cute. I love that. Those two together would be such a cute pairing, too. So cute. Like one hand each. One hand each. Yep. That's mismatch. So, cute. so lots of fun. Very easy. That. So that is design number one. Rachel, what do you have for us? Uh, design number one for me is going to be the one swatch that I have out. Uh, oh, hey, yeah. I have another one somewhere in here. Okay. This one is going to be more outside of my comfort zone color-wise uh, because we're doing, like, bright, fun colors for the holidays so i i love the like trend that's in like design right now that's all of the like mismatchy rainbow boho-y like bottle brush trees cute like i think they're so cute um so we're gonna put that on a nail because why not i love it because i did it last year with my christmas nails and it actually turned out so cute so we're gonna just use we're gonna um, have to have a moment paint. of silence for rachel's palette because, because she's one gonna day I'm need gonna to, have to clean off as well no because now we have the magpie palette and so now you can start fresh no <gasps> what I'm are you going to do without all of your i'm keeping this one all of your pieces it has sentimental value <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what she'll do with a fresh palette uh i won't have one <laughs> i will just use this one until i uh, die because i don't think i could ever start over <coughs> 
because there's mm-hmm. so many colors that I have made. I don't think I could start over. I don't think I know, it's possible. I don't, I don't know how you'll do. Mm, I just won't. <laughs> um, so I am just starting out with, um, I've got two layers of, what color is this? Fresh as a daisy. Um, and her green nail did bump it in the lamp, so I have a little bit of a green spot, but don't worry. Um, and I just wiped off my tacky layer, so I'm working on a completely matte, smooth surface. And I want more, like, true, like, bright colors. Not neons, but I want more bright than I normally would do. So I'm going to do, over here, I've got a little bit of a more, mm, mm, do I want this? Yes. Yeah, I do. Okay. We're just going to, we're just going to mix these on camera. We might as well, because why not? So this is just the neon pink. This is the neon pink gel paint. And I love this one, but I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of white with it so that it will show up more and kind of make it a little bit more of that like pastel neon. And um, these are super easy, super quick, but I'm just going to kind of throw just a little line straight down and then we just Kind of like dab up and down oh that's very simple isn't it it's the simplest the simplest and like you can go like did you remove your inhibition layer i, I wasn't listening i did yes okay uh -huh. i'm gonna go like diagonal for some of these give it a little bit of that texture give it a little bit of dimension and just kind of uh open it up uh, super like cute. tapering towards the tip so it looks a little bit more like that tree shape mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay cute cute what I really like about it is that it is it would be a fast type of tree to put yeah. on huh? it's like because it's more like actually messy in real life it's not perfect um i'm gonna do like a mint color on the edge where because i'm gonna cover this little green spot this is so my color palette it this really is, so is cute um i'm gonna wipe off this pink on my thumb so that i can just use my thumb palette um i have a little bit of the mint gel paint and i'm gonna mix a little bit of the neon green with it Ooh, interesting. Don't know that I want that color. <laughs> That'll be good. With this lighter neon. Yeah, that'll be cute. So how do you determine how to make whatever color you're going for? Like you thought, okay, to add a little bit of neon green, how come you did that? Because you wanted it brighter? Yeah, I wanted it brighter and a little bit less on like the, because the the mint one is more of that like pastel mint, like it's very neutral. Um, this color? Yes, uh -huh. so adding a little bit of a neon, even if I were to add the neon blue right here, um, this one would add a lot of depth, a lot of um, just that different color. And when you're undertone. adding, you're adding like just a the titch. tiniest little bit because you can always add more, but you can't take away. Okay. Because then you would just have to make more of that color mm -hmm. um, in the first place, and it just is kind of a nightmare. So I, see. I just add the tiniest little bit to start out and then go from there. I wanted it to cover up that little green speck on here. Karen Ayer says good morning and she hopes we'll go check out her latest post. Good she morning. used Perfect Poly to sculpt the nails and use the new fall collection. Oh, I can't wait to oh, see. Thank you. I bet they turned out wonderful. Okay, and then we just go a little bit diagonal, add a little bit of that depth. And then I'm going to flash cure this for a few seconds so that I can add colors on top right here and over here. So cute. So when we're flash curing a gel paint from Magpie, we need to flash cure for how long? 
Uh, I'd say like 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. Really give it a chance to harden? Yes. Okay. And especially where I'm putting something like next to it and on top of it, it will be touching. I don't want it moving. Gotcha. So you could even, like if I was doing this on like both hands, I would just throw it in the whole time and do the next hand. Cause okay. it, that's the time right. it would take anyways to cure hand it. To hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got so it. might as well. Um, I'm going to add, I want like an orange. So I have this Cute. lighter orange that I've made. So this is a little bit of the neon orange and the yellow and the neon yellow and white, I believe. Is so this is one you've already this. mixed. Yes. Uh -huh. Most of these I have mixed already. So just All makes right, it a little bit easier to use. I want to add a little bit of a Mm, more corally, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the neon orange and the neon coral, and then that way it'll be a little bit more complementary to the colors I already have on here. Cute, cute, okay. very cute. And then I'm just going to add just a tiny little tree over here. So this one's just gonna be little, like it's mostly gonna be off the nail. And it's gonna be shorter than my pink one, but it's gonna overlap just a little bit. And the nice thing with these um, kind of designs is that you can be a little bit messy and a little haphazard and it doesn't really matter it just kind of adds to the whole look of it because these are more like those boho -y style trees like it's kind of mismatchy and a little bit messy anyways so it's just kind of fun megan this color palette is uh we got one from amazon this is before magpie just released mm -hmm. our newest palette so we don't have that yet here at the salon so this is just a watercolor <laughs> tin from this, yep, amazon just a watercolor tin Mm -hmm. And then we've added the Magpie gel paints and then Rachel, so we have the traditional ones, but then Rachel has also mixed her own yep. um, so that she could have a full palette of colors. Yep. Because you know me, I, I have to custom mix everything. Um, what color do I want? I want kind of like a periwinkle, so I'm going to take... Some oh, of periwinkle's going to be cute blue, on that. Right? Yeah. And then a little bit of this light blue core color that we have and then the tiniest bit of this purple and some white the new magpie palette is black and white and has these inserts as well Cute. we're really excited about it it's now available on the website so we are ready to make the switch. Can't wait for that. That'll be nice. Yeah. Okay. Do this guy right here. Also a little bit shorter. Move up just a little. Oh, sorry. There we go. Karen said she just ordered all of the newbies and can't wait to get a package. Oh boy. That is like Christmas. It's gonna be like Christmas to open. Part of me wishes I had to order things. I know. So, so that I could, could unwrap it. it. Uh huh. So we could get it in the mail. Hey Sheridan, can you just wrap up that would be some so stuff exciting. to bring to the salon, please? <laughs> I would like the whole like unboxing experience. So cute. Yeah, it would be fun. Okay, that's cute. It's really that. cute. And then I think I'm going to add one more just in front to kind of fill that space. Cute. Ooh, ooh. That's just so fun. I, I love think. the color palette you chose. Right? That's so fun. Um, last one we'll add. Mm, mm, part of me wants to add yellow, but that won't show up as well. So I'll do like a mm, more like a fuchsia. Oh yeah, that's gonna really pop. I think so. I think that will be cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, that is going to be a cute color with these. Yeah, I like that. Too cute. All right. <coughs> and then we'll just Karen said she also just got the jellies. Ooh. Yeah, that means that you can do the new uh, wrapping paper design that I just did. That would well, be cute. it's not new, but the wrapping paper design. Yeah. Just layer some some jellies some and ooh. foils and some jellies. Yeah. The jellies are so nice. I want to do some like layering with some like of the festive flakes. Yeah. Like Buddy would be yep. so cute. I love Buddy. I, I love, love the Jack jellies. Too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. All right, there's our little, there's our little uh, forest of adorable, adorable trees. All right, and then I'll just top coat that. I oh, probably that would so not cute. top coat that because I feel like that would just make it look like you know what i would do brush trees. i would do the hollow glitz and, and then, then i would matte top coat. coat that so that you still have a little bit of the shimmer and sparkle from the hollow glitz yeah oh so cute. that would be so fun love that so cute okay i'm gonna put that in for a full here yep and while that's going we're gonna move on to my second design mm -hmm. which is cute piece of candy very easy that. very just simple a little, a little mint but we tried candy. to zhuzh it up just a little bit so let's let's do this we're gonna do this in a green motif instead of red all right so i have started off with two layers of kiss me kate which is a beautiful cover pink color. uh it's a, just a pale semi sheer and it does have an iridescent sheen i don't know if you can see that on the camera but there is a slight slight iridescent sheen which makes it very very pretty uh, and very flattery on the nail so that's a lot of fun mm -hmm. next we're gonna go in with Jude so Cute. the red one I used Stevie which I don't know if you're a newbie around here but if you're not you know our love for Stevie Stevie it's is so like good. <sighs> beautiful and is a must-have especially when you top coat it you're gonna put it on the nail and you're gonna be like i don't know what sarah and rachel mean then you're gonna, gonna top coat and you're gonna and be you're like gonna, oh holy crap <laughs> holy <laughs> crap. holy totally it's just so dimensional it's just so beautiful. good absolutely stunning um i'm next so on this one since we're doing green i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of jude and we don't need a ton flakes are can be quite potent so i'm actually just going to use whatever's in the lid mm-hmm and I'll try and do that on camera. And they're notorious for uh, running around all over the place if you breathe at them wrong. So, yes. so no breathing. Just uh, if you do, like back away. Aware. Right now, I've backed away because I'm trying to clean out my bristles from the red. All right, using my applicator brush. I guess that's backwards, but here's my applicator brush. So, just our favorite applicator for all things glitter, dust, everything. We're just going to grab just a little bit of the flakes that are in our lid. And I'm going to just start in the center. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, That'll cute. So do you fun. like the red mints or do you like the green mints like to eat? Um, none. What? I like none mints to eat. Really? I am not a big mint person. Oh, I love the green mints. Especially since I had COVID. Um, oh, mint it messed you up, huh? horrible. Interesting. <laughs> I know. I used to love mint, so I loved like just like the red peppermint. Oh, red? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the green ones because they're spearmint. Yeah. And I love I a spearmint. A, I need just a peppermint. <clears throat> I like cinnamon, too. I love cinnamon. You do? Oh, no. Cinnamon is like, ooh, that is a nope. Nope, nope. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the comments. Oh, have we been missing? Uh, yeah. Uh, Karen Ayer says she'll have to watch the replay since she missed the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do yeah. That. Very and easy, very easy design. Wrapping paper. Um, Tammy Miller asked what brush are you using and what is the thinnest brush Magpie makes? Um, I was using the Detailer, uh, which is the smallest that they make, but um, Karen Ayer's is correct. Uh, the Detailer and the Striper are the the thinnest the striper you'll just get that like longer longer thin bristle but i love my og detailer it's yeah, just the best the og all right i'm gonna use a little bit of shine bright but we have actually not we don't carry shine bright anymore here in uh, at magpie usa so instead what you could do is go in with a little bit of give me strength clear um, in my case, I'm not going to use Give Me Strength Clear because I need this to not have glitter in it for my clients. So I'm going to use my Shine Bright as my glitter glue. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put on a thin layer and glue down my Jude and give that a full cure for 60 seconds. 
um, Goldilocks and the Nail Shack S. Is this only available in the U.S.? Okay, how cute is That's that name? That's the cutest name. name. Number one. <laughs> and number two, we Fire sell to lamp. anywhere in North America. Uh, if you are outside of there, just send us a message and we will help you find the nearest distributor to you. Because everybody should get to have some. Some of the fun, absolutely fantastic. Right. Um, I did not matte top coat it because I don't want to get up, but I did shiny top coat. And oh, how it's freaking so cute. cute. Ew, ew. I do have a matte top coat right here. Uh, it's okay. It's you already top coated. Do you know what it looks like? I mean, it can. Yeah, let's just see what okay. it looks like. But All that right. is so cute, shiny. Right. I love it. <coughs> okay. Leftover coughs from coals are like the devil. Oh my gosh. They don't the go away. Worst. They, they just worst. stick around. Stick around a while. Stick around longer. and ruin your life. Pretty much. Okay, so I'm just going to be going in with gel paint white. Um, and I'm going to be creating the uh, candy design. Look so I'm just going to. Is. Thank you. Wow. Uh, thank you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> Compared to the absolute <laughs> carnage that is my palette. Thank you. Uh, funny. So I am just going to scrub off the inhibition layer because I don't want my gel paint to bleed. Yeah. I want to be able to do my entire design without it moving. Mm -hmm. And so I need to remove my inhibition layer. Mm -hmm. Then going in with my Magpie Detailer, I'm just yeah. going to grab plenty of this white. You can work on a thumb palette. You can work on your actual palette. But I'm going to work on a thumb palette. I just oh. need a tiny bit more. You got it. Thank you. All right. Should Hopefully that should be plenty to work. So I'm going to start just with a dot. Now the dot is just a guide. And you can do your... Um, candy swirl however you want so you could be instead of having your point go like this you could have it go off to the side and what I'm talking about really is the thick part mm -hmm. so I, we're gonna start with the thick and the then thick you can get wheel. yep you can get as creative as you want with the thinner pinwheels as you prefer right Okay, that's cute. oh that is cute Matt I, would I, add I little, love like, it white Matt. Dots on it to <gasps> have, like snowflakes oh that That'd is adorable. Cute. Okay, great. Adorable. Love that. Okay, so instead of going up and down like I did there, let's go side to side. So I'm going to pull my thicker pinwheel to the side this way. And you can do this however you want. If you if it's easier for you to think in this kind of design, then you could start and make the entire design that way mm -hmm. and then you could make the entire design this one we're going to be going this way because we want it to turn so this way we would go this way meet that center and then pull down from there like this now we're just going to thicken those guys up i remember back when i did clients this was a very very quick design mm -hmm. very effective I could get them in, I could get them out. And it's just fun. Mm-hmm. Like, it really is. And it's festive without having to be too... Without, um, like, themed. All of the... Yeah. And without having to paint a thousand snowflakes yep. and all of that. Because as much as we love that... Yep. I actually am not a huge snowflake fan. So if there's any way we can not do Get that, away from snowflakes. Mm-hmm since we're going to be doing them until March. Yep. Wherever you're from, has it snowed? Because it snowed here. It was snowing at my parents' house in Cedar yesterday. Ugh. Yeah. It hasn't been too bad at my house. No? Which, you would think, like, East Layton, I'm super close to the mountain, so, like, it maybe would be worse. But, mm -hmm. like, no, it hasn't been too bad. But not too bad? No. Well, that's good. I've only had to unbury my car once. That's not bad at all. <laughs> okay, so we have that basic pinwheel. Now we can go through and we can do a semi-thick pinwheel in the middle. And then we'll pull a thin pinwheel here. And a thinner one here. That way we have three. Cute. So you can really just 
whatever just make it your makes own. you happy as you're painting it. Yeah. Each one can be totally different if you're doing it on multiple clients. Tammy said it snowed here in Indiana on Saturday. Do you get like a lot of snow in Indiana? Yeah, like how much? Like how many inches? And also, is it normal to get a lot of snow there? Or is it one of the cities where it's like, um, if you get like a quarter of an inch, everything shuts down and everybody starts looting Walgreens? Right. My, um, my brother lives in Eugene and oh my gosh, when they, when they had snow first last year, it was like everybody lost their minds. Everybody freaks out. Yeah, it's like, oh, best of luck. Right? You're like, uh, it's no big deal, folks. Ain't no big deal. Now, before I cure this, one thing that bothers me is that this isn't a circle in the middle. Yeah. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because a pinwheel it doesn't create a perfect circle. But where that, where that little notch was, just fill that in and maybe pull this down a little. Mm -hmm. Round that out a little. And then we're good to go. I like Super it. cute. Very easy. And that goes, please? Very minty. I really Very like minty. it with the green. I think that's so freaking cute. Spearmint for the win. Yeah. <sighs> Winter mint. So Winter cute. Green. Then once that comes out, I'm just going to give it a top coat with some top it off. And then we'll show everything at the end. And we'll go on to Rachel's second design. So cute. All right. Numero dos. I am starting with a layer of, well, two layers of O'Sandy as my I base. I love O'Sandy. It's just such a good neutral. It's a hidden it's, gem. It really is. It's just like that light taupey gray nude. Like yeah. it's not too gray, not too brown. It's just that perfect in between. I actually love caramel as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Caramel I and O'Sandy. Love, love, love. And love. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. We could go on. We I mean, could. There really are a lot <laughs> of good They're really nudes. good ones. Tammy said, just a couple inches on Saturday, we may get a couple of snowstorms in January and February, Ooh. like six to 12 inches. Wow. Wow. So you get some snow. Yeah, that's for sure. Sure do. You are no stranger to the winter weather. Amazing. Um, I am going to do just like a kind of more simple, like, I don't know, looks like a floral, but isn't for, you know, like the winter. So we're just going to do like some greenery and add some in like some little shimmery holly berries. Um, but I have this combo that I have created of there's some blue and some green and some black and I've made this like deep green. So we're gonna use this and we're going to add in like, like it's like a pine branch almost. So we're just gonna very, very lightly in these little like needles and they don't all have to go the same direction you can have some how much pressure are, are you using to make very such light. fine lines very very light like I'm actually just using the tip of my brush and just letting it barely bend mm -hmm. but this way you'll be able to Add in all of these little, all of these little needles. So really looking. quickly before you touch that, Faster. I want to, I want them to see like how much paint is on your. Yeah. I mean, there's like a tiny little bead Tiniest at the tip bit. of my brush, mm -hmm. but it's okay because we're just gonna. But tiniest bit of out. paint and the finest lines. Yeah. I think sometimes fine lines can be very daunting and very intimidating to oh, attempt. Oh, absolutely. Especially when you're not like super comfortable with it, when you're mm -hmm. not used to it. But I try and do fine lines and all of the things that I do so that I'm not scared by it. So it's not intimidating. You just get used to it. Practice, huh? Mm-hmm. Over and Absolutely. over. And practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes progress. Always. Always practicing. No matter how long you've been doing nails, it's always practice. So we've got this cute little, like, pine branch. And then I'm going to maybe add just, like, a little bit more, like, coming out of the edge of it. And I feel like pine branches and, like, pine needles are actually so, so easy to paint. 
because it's literally just like little baby strokes. As long as I think you're using the right amount of paint and pressure. Sure. Because when I have painted them before, um, I got used to doing thin lines. Then they were mm -hmm. kind of just a mashup of of lines, and it didn't look like a pine branch. Yeah. So yeah, I think I you you have to have enough space in between the branches. You have to have very light pressure. Yep. See that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just takes a little bit yeah. of practice. Yeah. Yeah. But absolutely. Yeah. I feel like once you get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of super, it. Super, super easy. Uh-huh. So I'm going to just lock this. I'm going to flash care it for just it. a few seconds so that I can add some little... Um, I think I want, like, holly on top Cute. of that. Cute. Do I remember how to paint holly? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, but I am going to grab um, this kind of, like, lighter jade green color that I mixed a little on my palette and then a little bit of this deep dark like Teresa green color and I'm gonna mix them and then we're gonna add in I want a little bit of this neon green see what that will do one thing I love is that you mix these colors and then you go back and use them oh yeah because they they're so good for so long mm -hmm. I I won't waste them I love that. I use them all. Like, some of these have been on my palette for, like, years, and I still use them on the daily. I think that's awesome. So, like, might as well. Might as well get their, uh, get their use out of it. Okay, so we're just going to do some little... Do I want Holly? Eh. Eh. Yeah, might as well. Body and Maine is asking what products are in your tray. Um, these are all of the Magpie gel paints. Um, I have just custom mixed a lot of my colors, so that's why it looks a little bit messy and why there's so many colors, because they don't come with this many in the core collection, but I have just mixed um, a lot of them to give me colors that I use all of the time, like in my daily nail art. But they're just so nice to use when they're in a tin, then I don't have to open, you know, 15 different jars while I'm doing a client. You know, I like those two shades of green together. Yeah, yeah. Gives it a little bit of, mm, a little bit of dimension when it's like just a shade off. Mm-hmm. I like to work with like a cool green and a warm green. So like my pine needles are my cool green because they're more of that like gray, almost like a like a blue green. And then these ones are more of that like rich, warm, have more of like those yellow undertones with that neon that I added to it. So I like it, it just adds more of that contrast. Throw in one or two down here. And this is just like a fun little like foliage cuff. I like a foliage cuff. Same. A floral without being a floral. Right. Love it. Got some lint in the brush but you know what we just keep moving it's fine okay Let's see if i like that i like the look of that and then we'll throw that in for another so few cute. seconds Ooh, thank you mm -hmm. and then while that is curing i am going to mix a little concoction just on my palette because I can't be bothered to find another surface. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use a little bit of Give Me Strength. Where am I gonna put it? You know, we'll just put it right here. I'll just wipe it off. 
And then, not that, that's not what I want. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of garnet. Ooh, pretty. Into it. You've chosen a really rich red. Yeah, because mm. we've got those like deep moody colors. Yeah. I need something that's a little more bright and it's gonna contrast those Ooh, really well. That's lovely. I love using dust as paint right? like this. Yeah. It's so nice. I'll just grab a little bit extra. But this will be fun as like a little holly berry instead of just like a straight red. Just give us a little bit of pizzazz. And I'm gonna just add a couple over here. Oh. That's really nice, right? Raffian. That's mm -hmm. cute. That's cute. And I don't think it needs any more than that. I think I'm just oh, going to leave it like that. Dainty like and pretty simple. and festive and mm. Right? I love that. Yeah, I really so love fun. it. And then we'll, and then we top coat and it's done and it's so cute. Fabulous. I love that. <laughs> Okay, but look how cute all of these are. I feel like if you did these as like a one hand green, one hand red yeah. combo, mm -hmm. like how cute would that be? So cute. I want that. I love a mismatch. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. I also just like really love this green pairing. That's so pretty. Green is very, very popular right now. Yeah. It is the color of all the seasons currently. All the colors of green. And then these beauties that rachel did Beauty little baby so cute this one would be that. adorable with like i said i like the idea of the glitz or you could sprinkle a little blossom mm -hmm. um on the white before you paint it on the trees you could put on white dots for snow mm -hmm. you could mix a little bit of lacy glitter and then fade that down oh, like it was snow yeah um, mix that with a little give me strength so cute mm -hmm. and then of course i love a cuff a ruffian that right. is so cute but it's like just wintry enough just wintry enough yep all of these are really just designs that your minimalist clients could love but also your give me something fantastic yeah. could also love i mean you yes. could turn these into so many things so good so good so fun all right everybody we hope that today's nail art inspires you as we come into the christmas season mm -hmm. and we will be back next week inside of the app so please be sure to download the magpie usa app so that you can join us there we will be going over um, lots of different supplies next week inside yep. of the app once again so there will be a lot to go over yes we can't wait so we will see you again next week have a wonderful week and until then bye, bye.